Sup fam, how are all of you guys doing? My name is Sticks and today I'm going to be throwing at you guys a quick guide on how to get into Soul Worker Online. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking us after our last couple videos because we've been playing a lot of Soul Worker, how do you, get, how do you actually get into it, right? Well, it is surprisingly easier than you'd think. Now, there are a couple of things you need before attempting the installation. One of them is a VPN. Now, you can get, you, you can use your own paid for VPN if you want, or you could just use a free one. Really, it doesn't really matter. Now, the one we use personally is the Soft Ether VPN client. Now, that, it is, it's a pretty good one. It's free and easy to use, right? Right, you can, you can find it at softether.org, I believe is the website. Pretty much all you gotta do, click download. It's a pretty easy, basic setup, you know? Double click it, install it, easy. So this guide is not about setting up the VPN. It is very easy to set up. If you guys need help with it, just ask and I can, I can walk you through how to set up the VPN. But either way, to get into Soul Worker Online, you need to be using Internet Explorer. I know, it is, it is weird. Right, like you can try going to uh, so the Soul Worker website, which is Soul Worker here, in Chrome or Firefox or anything, and you get an error. Right, you have to use Internet Explorer to download and install the game. I'll show you guys how to do that right now. Okay, so firstly, you need to boot up your VPN, Soft Ether, whatever else you want. Right, you gotta choose a Japanese region IP. Okay, if you're using uh, Soft Ether, then, I don't know, one with a good line speed that's been up for at least a half day, maybe a day. With a, you know, a decent amount of sessions means that people are using it and it's not, it's not bad, you know? So, for example, this one's pretty good. This one's probably decent. This one's probably pretty good, too. I don't know. Uh, I, I guess I'll just go for this one. Let's, let's see. All right, and we are connected. Now, you can go to the Soul Worker website, soulworker.hongame.co.jp, for those of you that, uh, that are unaware of where to go. Right here, here you go. Okay, so now that you're on the website, you're gonna wanna go over here and click this blue button, which is, you know, more or less register in English. And over here, is the email registration, right? So you're going to want to input your email that you want to use here. So, you know, as an example, right, register, there it is. Now, this will send a confirmation email to your email, you know, basic basic game registration stuff. If you've ever registered on, on an MMORPG or an MMO or or website, or pretty much anything before. It's as basic as sent a confirmation email. You'll get the confirmation email. You just click the link. Copy the link. Paste the link right in. And here we have the, the actual registration page. But yeah, it, right here, it's pretty basic, right? Here's your username, so something like uh, Stixmas. Uh, here's your password, so... Easy, easy, over here your birth dates, right? 99, I just thought anything. You don't really need to, uh, to worry about this, any of these options down here. I'm gonna go with cute, no, I'm gonna go with pure, sorry, because you know, I, I'm a very pure person. Click uh, confirm. Right? Pretty easy. Now, here comes the hard part, okay? You need to input a Japanese CAPTCHA. Now, this is actually very easy to get around. Go ahead and open up Firefox or Chrome or whatever other browser you use. Go to Google Translate. Right? The actual website, don't use... Don't use the uh, little little translate thing on Google search. What you're gonna want to do is now translate using this 
draw box thing. I, I, I don't know what it's called, guys. It's 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 a box that you can draw the characters in. Okay, now you're gonna want to draw the character. Excuse my uh, my poor artwork, by the way. I'm uh, I've never claimed to be good <laughs> at uh, at art. So. So I apologize in advance if this looks if this looks really stupid. Right? <laughs> uh this looks like a a running man. <laughs> uh did I did I draw this poorly? I feel like I may have drawn this poorly, right? Yep, definitely drew this poorly. Then you need to go right over and click the bottom right orange button. Not the bottom left, the bottom right one. Alright, so after you get it, don't worry if you make a couple mistakes or if you mess up a few times. It's easy to do. Uh, this took like four tries to actually get to work. Now, right here is the woo, did it screen. So, success. Now... After successfully registering the game, you're going to want to go back to the website. Log in. Uh, unless you already are logged in, like me right there. You can just close out of that. Now, to successfully download the game, you're going to want to go ahead and click Game Start. Right? That was just a, a warning, I'm assuming, saying, you know, before downloading and playing the game, you need to first uh, agree to our terms of service, etc. So... Just click agree, agree. So then you're gonna wanna go ahead and click game start. Now in Internet Explorer, it will attempt to download and install a, I guess like an add-on, because the game itself has to be run through Internet Explorer. It doesn't have an icon. It doesn't have uh, an easy way of getting in. You have to have your VPN open and you have to go to their website and click game start to actually open the game. Therefore, the add-on needs to be installed to be able to actually play it. It's a, it's weird, you know, don't get me wrong, it, it is actually weird. This is the only game I've had to do this for. But, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it, it is definitely worth it. Now, upon downloading the toolbar and, uh, and running the install, you're gonna have to choose your directory, like any normal game. Now, what you're gonna wanna click is this button, which is essentially start. However, if you download it through the VPN itself, it will take a really long time. The, uh, the connections are pretty shit, if I do say so myself. Now, I prefer, I much rather download using my own internet connection, so I am therefore capable of disconnecting it after I click start. You only have a moment to do it, but in essence, this is all you have to do. Right? That's all you had to do. Click start. Click disconnect. You only have a couple seconds before the game itself processes and uh, connects to that IP. You can't change the IP once you start downloading it. Therefore, you only have maybe several seconds to, after clicking start to quickly click your VPN and quickly click disconnect. And yeah, so after that, you know, it, it's, it's not like a really large download. I think it's about 6 gig. So... You know, uh, on my uh, on my connection, I, I can get a pretty good download speed. It'll take me maybe about 10, maybe 20 minutes, depending on how the speed how speed goes, right? All right, now after that is done, right? Nice and easy install. You just let it go right through, no problems whatsoever. After that's done, you can mess around with your settings here. There is, I believe, an English patch out there that, that patches the system settings, uh, some of the, the, the translations in the game for items and things like that, but that, that is a whole other guide right now. Right, so then you just set up your settings, no problem, all done, all good, right? And that is literally it, game start. Right, now after clicking game start, you're going to want to once again disconnect from your VPN. You only have a couple seconds to do this once again. And uh, this, of course, will allow you to play 
off of your own IP and not off of the, the VPN IP, right? This will, be, this will allow you to play off of your own connection. You'll probably get a lot better speeds by using your own internet if you want to. Uh, but, yeah. That, that is essentially the, the entire thing. And there you go, right? Boom, get into the game. Easy. Amazing looking, once again. Right? That's it, that's, that's literally the whole thing. That shows you exactly how to register for an account, it tells you how to download the game, and it tells you, like that, and that's, and, and then the, the game, whole game itself is set up, right? So, just to quickly go over exactly how we did it, you have to boot up your VPN, you have to choose a Japanese IP, you have to go to the website, you have to register by following the steps earlier in the video, you then have to download the game using your VPN, you then need to disconnect the VPN, you then need to just wait out the download, then you need to, re <laughs> then you need to reconnect the VPN once you're done, click game start, and then disconnect the VPN finally to get into the game. Now, to play the game in the future, you need to make sure that you always have the VPN open and you're always connected to a Japanese IP. You need to boot up the website, you just need to click game start, and then the launcher opens, you click start, disconnect the VPN, and then you can play the game for as long as you want. We've been playing it for tons of hours. We've had no problem whatsoever. The game itself is, is a lot of fun. Now, I hope this guide was helpful to you guys. Hopefully we can get some of you guys in there or lots of you guys in there, right? If the guide helped you, if the guide was helpful, if you have any problems, if you encounter any errors, let us know down in the comment section on YouTube. Let us know on our website if you prefer to let us know there. The website is www.mmobite.tv. We do answer the comments there. We will also have a written guide. So, you know, if the, if the video doesn't make sense or you'd rather read it or you'd rather take the, the, the installation slower, no problem at all. You can just easily go over to the website. You can easily follow step by step right there. Written guide. Boom. Get right in. Perfect. Beautiful. Right. We will be posting a guide for Fantasy Star, Moonlight Blade, and uh, any other... Asian themed MMORPGs that that you guys can access so make sure if you want to play those games sub to the channel like the video leave a comment saying that it helps so we know that it helped you guys out and that making these guides actually have a purpose okay thank you guys for watching hopefully this helped a lot of you guys get in game